meters are used for what calculations. For example, 10 plus 2. <clears throat> ah, then what it gives? 12. 10 minus 2. This gives what? 8. 10 into 2. That gives 20. And 10 by 2. That gives 5. And 10 modulus 2. That gives 10 divided with 2. The remainder is what? 0. So what is modulus gives? Remainder. So 10 divided with 2. Remainder is what? 0. Okay. Then. So this operator gives remainder. So this is for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, remainder. Okay. Then. <clears throat> next. What the next one is? Relational operators. <clears throat> Relational operators. Arithmetic operators are used for calculations. Yes or no? Arithmetic operators are used for calculations. And the relational operators are used for comparison. Relational operators are used for comparison. One is greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equals to, equals to, not equals to. This is the symbol for not equals to. <clears throat> Otherwise, we can also use this one, exclamation equal. Greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equals to, equals to, not equals to, this one. So then all these are what? Relational operators. Relational operators are used for comparison. Okay. Relational operators are used for comparison. So arithmetic operators are used for calculations. Then <clears throat> here see this. What? For example, but <clears throat> what this is called? This is called arithmetic expression. What is this is called? Arithmetic expression. If I write something like this, 10 greater than 2, this is called relational expression. This is arithmetic expression. And what is this is? Relational expression. Arithmetic expression always gives value. Relational expression gives true or false. Understood? Arithmetic expression always gives what? Value. 10 plus 2, 10 minus 2 gives value. But relational expression gives what? True or false. Now, 10 greater than 2. 10 greater than 2. Is 10 greater than 2? Yes. What is this condition is what? True. Condition is true. I like 10 less than 2. 10 less than 2 is what? False. I like 10 equals to 2. <clears throat> is 10 equals to 2? No, false. 10 not equals to 2. 10 not equals to 2. True. Okay, so 10 greater than 2? Yes. 10 less than 2? No, false. 10 equal to 2? No, false. 10 not equal to 2? Yes. 10 is not equal to 2. True. Okay, then. <clears throat> so, this is arithmetic expressions returns values and the relational expressions returns what to what false. They are mainly used for comparison. I want to check whether 10 is greater than 2 or not. <clears throat> okay. Then I want to check. So there are two values. I want to check whether first value is greater than second value. First value is equal to second value. First value is not equal to second value. I want to check. So that case we use relational operators. Next one. <clears throat> what is the next one is? Logical operators. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Logical operators. <clears throat> so there are three. One is N or not. 
there are three logical operators and or not now <clears throat> and see here we use end <clears throat> no symbols no symbol for end directly we have to use and a and d or operator what is or <clears throat> not not no symbol for this okay na then uh, so these operators are what <clears throat> logical operators and the logical operators are used to combine two expressions relational expressions <clears throat> okay na to combine what's it two conditions <clears throat> then now <clears throat> for example condition 1 condition 1 means <clears throat> what is condition condition mean this one okay na then <clears throat> so this is one relational expression sir okay na ah oh. then this is one relational expression condition 1 next one and condition 2 okay then logical operators are used to combine the two logical operators logical operators are used to combine two conditions what is condition means condition means what this condition means what relational expression so this is one relational expression this is one relational expression and both are combined with what sir end what is the final output <coughs> final output is what then <coughs> sir what is this redundance what is this redundance boss just now i said sir condition means relational expression what is the relational expression redundance true or false suppose assume <coughs> this is true this is also true what is the output is output is what sir true okay then next this is true this is false what is this redundance false this is false this is true what is this redundance is false both are false then returns what false <coughs> so then if it is end so tell me when it returns true when it returns false when it returns true when it returns false both are true then returns true at least one is false then returns false if both conditions true then only returns true if one condition is false then returns false <coughs> I'll take examples. After that, you'll clearly understand. Okay, now then I'm just giving what is what. <clears throat> then <clears throat> next one, condition one or what? Condition two. Now in the previous, these are combined with what? And and this is combined with what set? R. So this logical operators are used to combine the two conditions. or combine the two relational expressions condition means relational expression each relational expression returns what true or false but when end returns what end returns if both the returns true then true if at least one returns false then false ah uh, now <coughs> here what <watch. coughs> then first one is true second one is true then true first one is true second one is false then returns what true first one is false second one is true returns what true both are false both are false returns what false ah <clears throat> oh, now tell me what is the difference between end and or in case of end both conditions are true then only returns true otherwise returns false in case of r at least one condition is true 
returns true otherwise returns false in case of n both must be true in case of r at least one must be true <coughs> sir okay then <coughs> now <coughs> what is not is you have to use not like this and then this and then r and then r is used between and then r is used between two conditions not <coughs> not what not condition what is the output you have to use not like this not condition ah uh, then condition is what set true what is this output not true not true means false condition is false <coughs> not false not false means true yeah. <clears throat> how to use we'll see just uh, learn what is what <clears throat> <clears throat> now <clears throat> so one is used for calculations another used for comparison another one used to combine the conditions combine the two relational expressions okay then so <clears throat> for the fourth one fourth one is what sir there are some what special operators <clears throat> there are special operators <clears throat> what are the special operators one is between we'll see then in <clears throat> like is any next one all exists like by what between in like is any all exists by what so these operators are called special operators <clears throat> so i'm giving the list but we'll see one by one <clears throat> next then <clears throat> what the next one is next one is set operators <clears throat> one is union you know this in mathematics union all intersect next year what's it except <clears throat> so this you know now a union b a intersect b like that union union all intersect except so these operators are called set operators <clears throat> that's all. so these are the what the different operators in sql server okay <clears throat> now <clears throat> next we'll see this okay then so what the next one is displaying what set data <clears throat> now <clears throat> in yesterday's class you created the table you inserted the data i want to see the data you want to what set <clears throat> see the data you want to see the data okay then <clears throat> how to see the data <clears throat> now so what is the command we use okay if you want to see the data what command we use select command then so we use the select command is used to display data from what table 
If you want to see the data, we use select command. <clears throat> Then, <clears throat> and using this select command, display the data from table. So, what is table contains rows and columns. And using this select command, we can display, we can display all columns and what specific columns. And we can display <clears throat> all rows and specific rows. You want to see all the columns. We can see all the columns. Not all the columns. I want to see specific columns. We can see specific columns. All the rows. We can see all the rows. We can see specific rows. <clears throat> Now, then, what the syntax is, <clears throat> select columns are star, <clears throat> columns are star from table name. So, this is the syntax, select columns from table name. <clears throat> then, <clears throat> So, what is select and from our call? <clears throat> so, what is this is called? <clears throat> what this is called? This whole thing. Query. What is this is called? Query. Query or command. SQL command. SQL query. <clears throat> what the individuals are called? <clears throat> what the individual is called? What is this select? <clears throat> what is this from is called? They are called clauses. They are called <clears throat> what? One second. Just see this. What they are called? <clears throat> clauses. Clause. The whole thing is called query. <clears throat> Individual parts are called clauses. So here, how many clauses are there? Two. One is select. One is from. Two. What is clause means? <clears throat> Like assume SQL equal to English. SQL is a language. English is also language. In English, how you communicate in English? <clears throat> in English, how you communicate sentences? Yes. In SQL, how you communicate by using what <clears throat> queries? So if SQL equal to English, a query equal to Sentence. What is sentence is made up of? <clears throat> sentence is made up of what? Words. Queries are made up of what? Clauses. That's all. <clears throat> okay, now. So, if SQL equal to English, a query equal to sentence. Sentence is made up of words. And the queries are made up of clauses. In query, each part is called one class, select class, from class, like that. <clears throat> okay. So here, here, what we specify in from, what we specify table name. <clears throat> See, is database contains only one table? No, database contains what? Number of tables. Uh, then, what you want to tell SQL Server? You have to tell SQL Server which table data you want to see. You have to tell SQL Server. Otherwise, how SQL Server knows you want data from so and so table? You have to tell SQL Server which table data you want to see. Where you specify that? You specify that in from class. And which columns? Table contains what? Columns, rows and columns. And which columns you want to see? Where you specify that? Select. Which table you want to see? Which columns you want to see? 
Okay, na? There. <coughs> now, for example, let's see. I want to see all the data from table. Okay, na? Uh, display all the data from EMP table. Then, instead we created EMP, we inserted some data. Now, I want to see the data. Uh, then, <coughs> uh, what that is, select SAR from what's that? EMP. Select SAR from EMP. Uh, what this query gives? <coughs> select SAR from EMP. What is SAR means? Then, once again, what is SAR means? Here, yeah, yeah, SAR means what, sir? <coughs> uh, what is SAR means? Selecting SAR means selecting what, sir? All columns. Selecting SAR means, here you write columns, actually. In select, you write columns. But if you say select SAR means, it will select what? All the columns. My table contains six columns. It will show all the six columns. <coughs> then, Okay, now, <coughs> select start from EMP means, from EMP table, it selects all the columns, it displays all the columns from EMP table. <coughs> now, <coughs> so I want to run this. I want to execute this query. Uh, to execute the query first, <coughs> first connect it to SQL Server, after you connect to the SQL server, uh, then after you connect to the SQL server, it will show the list of databases. <coughs> uh, which database you want to work? Yesterday you created the table, but where we created the table, which database? DB 7 a.m. Open the DB 7 a.m. <coughs> How to open? New query. Right click, new query. So when you open, a query window opens. In this query window, you type the commands. In the query window, type this command. Now, uh, what is that is? Select start from EMP. <coughs> Select start from EMP. Then what is this query displays? All the data from EMP table. <coughs> this query displays all the data from <coughs> EMP table. Yes or no? Then. <coughs> so it is showing all the columns or not? Yes. Complete table. So showing the complete table. <coughs> but I don't want to see all the columns. I want to see specific columns. How many columns are there? This is column one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a column. What is this is? This is one rows. I want to see specific columns. For example, user want to see display employee names and salaries. Then <coughs> <coughs> Displaying employee names and salaries. Uh, what? <clears throat> Select. Don't say star. Because he's not asking all the columns. He's not asking all the data. He's asking only the names and salaries. Names are there in what? E name. Salaries are there in sal. Uh, then select what? E name comma salary from <coughs> EMP. Select e name comma salary from EMP. Uh, from EMP table, what are displayed? From EMP table, what is displayed? <coughs> only the <coughs> names and salaries. So this query will show only the names and salaries, but not complete table. Okay, then. <coughs> <coughs> oh. So let me run this here, then <coughs> select e name comma salary from EMP. So what this query will show? This query will show the employee names and what set salaries. But actual table contains six columns, but I am showing only the two columns. <coughs> Understood or not? <coughs> then. Next. <coughs> For example, I want to display employee names, jobs, height dates. Then <clears throat> I want to show the employee name, jobs, and height dates. Then uh, select what? E name. Then 
job hype day so names names are there in t name column as yes i know names are there in t name so jobs are there in what's it job and hype dates are there in hype dates uh oh. so from <clears throat> yeah this will show only the names jobs and hype dates so table is there from table we are displaying specific data required data whatever the data is required for the user we are displaying only the data <clears throat> then now see this here ah <clears throat> oh. what is this is showing only the names jobs and what's it hype dates okay then <clears throat> so whatever the data you want you select the data <clears throat> sir okay now <clears throat> then but you want to see all then you want to see all then select what sir star if you want to see all select star <clears throat> then select star select star means it will show all the data <clears throat> okay now then <clears throat> but it's it's not that compulsory you have to select in this order okay uh, then if i write e name comma salary then first it will show name next it will show salary if i write salary comma e name can we write like this yes salary comma e name ah uh, then first it will show salary next it will show e name whichever the order you select in the same order it will show okay na whatever the order you are selecting in the same order it will show the output <clears throat> okay na ah uh, in this output why job is not displayed we are not selecting why job is not displayed we are not selecting remember if you want to see something you have to select if you select it will show if you don't select it will not show <clears throat> okay na then ah <clears throat> uh, but what is this is showing what is this query is showing <clears throat> this query is showing what's it all the employee names and salaries <clears throat> all the employee names and salaries then if i say star it is showing all the employees but it is showing all the rows are not <clears throat> it is showing all the rows yes here how many rows are there five rows i want to see specific employees data not all the employees data i want to see what specific employee data i want to see one or three details i want to see one or three details i want to see employee whose name equal to vijay i want to see the employees working as what clerk i want to see the employees working as clerk i want to see the employees earning more than 5000 I want to see the employee joined in 2022. I want to see the employees working for only 10th department. I don't want to see all. I want to see specific employees data. But here my table contains only five six rows. Easily you can find out. Manually also you can find out. Yes or no? Because the table contains only five. But if you go to real time tables, the tables contains what? Lacks out. the tables contains lakhs of rows you take amazon products products table contains amazon sells only 5 6 products no amazon sells what's it lakhs of products in that you want to find particular product can you manually find out particular product no difficult time taking as yes or no ah uh, then so from the table how to get the specific row specific row to get the specific row from this table what the sql server says to this query apply the where condition to get the specific rows from the table apply the where condition uh, now what is the next one is next one is what where clause where class <clears throat> so 
So there are number of classes are there. <clears throat> so learning first to SQL. Learning SQL means learning SQL commands. In SQL commands, we use various classes. Learning that classes. Okay, na? Then, <clears throat> where class, order by, group by, top, etc. We use number of classes. So we'll see one by one. <clears throat> then, so where class? What is the purpose of where class? Why we use where class? So where class, like where class is user, user to get what specific row or rows from table based on a condition. To get specific row or rows from table based on a condition. <clears throat> The purpose is simple. I don't want to see all the rows. Okay, na? Then, because tables, real-time tables contains lakhs of rows. I don't want to see all rows. I want to see specific row. Uh, then, apply the where class. Apply the where condition. How to apply the where condition? What is the syntax? Syntax is like this. What is that is? Select columns or star from what? from table name. Next one, where. In where what we write? Condition. In select what we write? In select what we write? In select you write column names. From what we write? Table name. Where what we write? Condition. So which table data you want to see? <coughs> which table data you want to see? Specify that in from. Which columns you want to see? Specify that in select. Which rows you want to see? Then where? Which table you want to see? From. Which columns you want to see? Select. Which rows you want to see? Where? Table means rows and columns. Which columns? Which rows? Which columns? Specify that in select. Which rows? Specify that in where? <coughs> ah. Then <coughs> here you write what's it? Here you write what? Condition. Here you write condition. How to write condition? <clears throat> How to write condition? You have to write conditions like this. What is that is? Column name. Write conditions like this. Column name. What is the next one? OP. OP means operator. OP means operator. Column name, operator, value. You have to write condition like this. This is the general syntax of writing condition. Column name, operator, value. <clears throat> In programming languages, you write conditions by using if. In programming languages, you write conditions by using if. But in SQL, we write conditions by using where? In programs, you write conditions by using if. Here you use where. Now, can I write a condition like this? If A plus B. Can we write a condition like this? A plus B. Tell me, is A plus B is a condition? A plus B is a condition. Yes or no? No. Can I write a condition like this? A greater than B. Yes or no? Yes. This is a condition, but this is not a condition. Remember, condition means condition should always return true false. Condition should always return what's it? True false. Ah, now tell me which expressions return true false? Which one return true false, sir? Relational. Relational operators returns what? Relational expression returns true false. But this arithmetic expression returns true false? No. Arithmetic expression returns what, sir? Value. So that means condition is not A plus B. It is not A plus B. Uh, then it should be A greater than B. So it, it is not uh, arithmetic. It is what, sir? Relational. Uh, now tell me, what must be OP? <clears throat> OP, OP operator only, but what is that operator? OP must be what? Any relational operator. Like uh, what? Greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equals to, equals to, not equal to. 
OP must be any relational operator like greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to. <coughs> Okay, <clears throat> now, so if condition true, condition what's it? True, condition returns true or false. If condition true, row is what? Selected. Otherwise, if condition false, condition false, row is not selected. If condition true, row is selected. If condition false, row is not selected. <clears throat> Now, let's take some examples. <clears throat> let's take some examples. <clears throat> now, let's take some examples. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> now with this, what you are learning is data retrieval techniques. How to retrieve the data from database statements. Not all the data, required data whatever the data is required for the user. So we have to select only the data, not all the data. We will be learning the techniques. Ah, now, <clears throat> so this is the table, but I don't want to see all the employees. I want to see only one or two details. Then how to write? So what is asking is display employee details whose ID equals to one or two. I want to see only one or two details from table, ah, then <coughs> I want to see one or two details, ah, then how to write, select, display means select, select star from EMP, select star from EMP, ah, but is it will show all, all the employees, but user is not interested in all, you want to see only one or two details, ah, then where, where, uh, then <coughs> you, have, you have to use column name, but in question, you won't give the column name, you just saying ID, but when you are writing the query, here you have to use column name, uh, which column contains IDs, EMD ID, here you have to use column name, EMD ID, so in question is asked ID, if you write ID 1 or 2, then it gives one error, because ID is not there in the table, what is there in the table? EMP ID. Okay, na? then EMP ID. <coughs> Select SAR from EMP where EMP ID equals to 102. <coughs> now, what this gives? This gives what? <coughs> this gives then ID equals to what set? One or two. One or two details. This query is giving one or two details. Then once again, how it works? How how this query works? Let's see. It go to the first one. What is the ID? Hundred. Condition true now false. False. Selected or not selected? Not selected. What is it? Condition true. Row is selected. Condition false. Row is not selected. So first show. ID is what? 100. Condition false. 101. False. 102. True. Condition true. Row is selected. 102 row is selected and not? Yes. But what is displayed? This row is selected, but what values are displayed in the output depends on your. This row is selected, but what values are displayed depends on your selection. You said select star. Uh, that means 102. What values are displayed? 1021, all the values are displayed. Because you said select star, no? Okay, no? Uh, then, if you write E name, then <coughs> what is selected? 102 is selected, but 102 what values are displayed? Only the 
e name only the name is displayed okay na uh, then now you see this like one or two name i want to see one or two salary then what sal then it will show one or two salary i want to see one or two name and salary then e name comma salary then it will show one or two name and salary i want to see all the details then select one star that's all but it's not showing all the employees data it is showing only one particular employee data got it <coughs> that <coughs> no <coughs> sir here actually for example we go to amazon in okay na so this is home page in this home page what it is showing what it is showing it is uh, showing the the different category of products that amazon sells what products amazon is selling it is showing that products i don't want to see all these products actually i am planning to buy mobile phone i am planning to buy mobile phone i want to see only mobile phones i don't want to see other products i want to see mobile phones there is an option here mobiles click this click mobiles when you click this mobiles background it's converted into query select star from products where category equal to mobiles when you click mobiles background it's converted into query select star from select star from uh, products where category equals to mobiles product category equals to mobiles uh, then it will show mobile phones that query is sent to amazon server Amazon server will execute the query, send the data back to this client. It will show the data on the screen. So you click, double click, etc. But background they are converted into queries. You go to ATM. You select balance inquiry. Insert the card. Select balance inquiry. Background it's converted into query. Select the balance from accounts table where account number equal to so and so. Select the balance from table where account number equal to so and so. That is sent to bank server. Bank server will execute the query, return the balance. That balance is displayed on the ATM screen. Understood? Here we are displaying the data on this SSMS window, but there that the results are displayed on WhatsApp screen, ATM screen. Understood? Uh, but background there WhatsApp what runs? Query runs. you go to bank you ask for statement they give the statement or not yes background inquiry is executed everything background what runs sir if the data is there in database table okay na if it all data is there in database table compulsory queries okay then <clears throat> now so conditions not only based on what id conditions can also be be based on name conditions not only based on id conditions can be based on what's it name uh, for example i want to see the employee details so display <coughs> employee details like whose name equals to something vijay uh, then what <coughs> select what sir select sir from emd where e name equals to where e name equals to what sir vijay but vijay is a what string in sql string should be in single quotes equal to vijay you can write conditions based on any column <clears throat> okay na then <clears throat> ah so then from table what it is selecting then what it is doing it is go go to the table 
we go to the first one what is the name sachin condition false not selected what is the next one vijay true selected next kumar false not selected ravi false sindhu false so we go to one by one checks condition true or false condition true selected condition false selected not selected so uh, like how many employees are there with name vijay only one so it will show only one row yes if there are 10 employees with name vijay then it will show 10 rows are only one row now 10 rows okay na so here actually see that your condition true selected when condition true selected then it will stop or it will continue it will continue for the next row also it will go to the next row again check the condition because there may be number of employees exist with same name or not yes so this is continue understood <coughs> then ah uh, now suppose for example i last i want to see the employee list earning more than what 5000 <coughs> i want to see the employees earning more than 5000 or ah, then ah what is that is select what set star select star from emp where <coughs> earning means what salary earning means salary ah salary must be greater than <coughs> 5000 so what is the salary column name sal ah sal greater than 5000 Sal greater than five thousand. <coughs> Select star from EMP where salary greater than five thousand. So it will go to one by one. Six condition true or false. <coughs> Then, ah, <coughs> uh, what? <coughs> Then, see this here. It will go to the first one. What is the salary? 5000 5000 is equal to 5000 is greater than 5000 no it is equal to 5000 yes what is the next one 8000 8000 is greater than 5000 yes selected 9000 is greater than 5000 yes null is greater than 5000 no this is no how many are there two so then it will select two then it will select two So let's see this. There are two employees sending more than five thousand. One is Jay Kumar. Okay, na then <clears throat> now so less than five thousand. Then salary less than five thousand. <clears throat> For example, next one. I last employee list join after. Uh, okay, then. Join after twenty uh, twenty. <clears throat> join after twenty twenty. Then what? Join after twenty twenty. Select star from EMP where height date because your condition based on what join date? Yes, condition based on join date. Ah, then where? Height date what? Height date join after twenty twenty. After twenty twenty means greater than twenty twenty or less than twenty twenty. Yeah, greater than twenty twenty. Like I am writing like this. Height date greater than twenty twenty. What join after twenty twenty? So run this query. What is this gives error? This gives error. <coughs> Why? Yeah. Then you you try to read this error messages also. Okay, na? Then date is what set incompatible with what small integer. What the meaning? Here you are comparing s. Yes. You are comparing s yes and no column value. So here these two types must be same. These two types must be same. Okay, na? Sir, your left side and right side type must be same. When you are comparing two, both the type must be same. Your height date is what type? What is the C? 
No, no, no. I did is what type. At the time of creating the table, what you declared date. You see the table creation now. Nah? In table creation, height date is declared as what, sir? Date. Height date is what type? Date type. What is 2020? Year. Type. I am asking type. Type means integer. Value 2020. Okay. But what is the type? Type is integer type. So left side is what type? Date type. Right side is what type? Integer yeah. type. You are comparing date with integer. That is not possible. You have to compare date with date. Compare integer with integer. Compare string with string. So when you are comparing two, both must be of same type. But it is not same type. I did is date type. But this is what sir? Number type. That's why what this query gives error. This query gives error. Understood now? Nah. <clears throat> ah, no, but then tell me how to how to get who are joined after 2020. Here, here also, here also you have to write what set. Here also you have to write what. Here also you have to write what date. You have to write date because left side is date now. Here also you have to write what set date. Uh, then after 2020 means, can I say after 31st December 2019? Sorry, sorry. After 2020 means, can I write like this after 31st December 2020? After 2020. After 2020 means 21, 22 like this, yes. Uh, after 2020 means, can I say like this? After 31st December 2020, yes or no? Uh, like I date greater than what sir? 31st December 2020. Uh, how to write 31st December 2020? You have to write it in SQL format. Uh, what is that? Is 2020 12 31st. So height date greater than 2020 December 31st means greater than joined after 2020. Yes or no? Sir, clear or not? Then. Now, so left side is date, right side is also date. So now comparison is possible or not? Yes. Except one or two. Except one or two, you want all. Not equal. To. ID not equal to one or two. Then, once again, run this. Uh, now, let's see. Then, so what is this is? Like height date, what's it? Greater than. Height date greater than. Now, go to the table. This is a table. So, height date is greater than 2020. Greater than 2020? Yes. Greater than 2020? Yes. Greater than 2020? No. Greater than 2020? Yes. Greater than 2020? Yes. So how many are there? All. Except one. Yes. All these employees joined after 2020. December 31st. Okay, sorry. Okay, I didn't execute. I I not executed the query. Okay, now. Uh, now execute the query. Uh, see this. 2020 is there? No. So it is showing only join after 
2020. Now, like if I ask you, what employees WhatsApp join before 2022, then join before 2022. What select WhatsApp start from EMP where high date what less than high date less than before means less than after means greater than uh, before 2022 uh, then 2022 can I say before 2022 means can I say like this before January 1st 2022 okay na? before 1st January 2022 yes or no uh, then how to write 2022-0101. Select start from EMB. High date less than then. Less than January 1st, 2022 means before 2022. Okay? Then. <clears throat> what it this gives? This gives what? Who are joined before 2022. Okay. Then. There are two. 2021. Yes or no? Then. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> then. So that means you can write queries based on WhatsApp. IDs. Queries based on name. Queries based on salary. Queries based on dates. Okay, now we can use greater than, less than on WhatsApp. We can use these operators on date source. Not only numbers, greater than, less than operators, not, not only numbers. We can use these operators on what date source. For date comparisons also we can use. Okay, uh, then suppose he is asking what employee details whose ID not equal to 102. Uh, then except one or two. Display all the employee details except one or two. One second. So display all the employee details except one or two. Uh, then select start from EMP. Next one. Where EMP ID not equals to one or two. This is the symbol for not equals to. Okay, then what it is this will show other than one or two? This will show what? Other than one or two. <clears throat> one. There are multiple IDs are there. We use in, not in, etc. We'll see that. Now, <clears throat> so then, now let's see this here. Now run this query. Uh, what this gives? This gives what's it? Like, uh, then, except what? What this is giving? Except one or two, except one or two. So it is giving all other than what? One or two. Is that okay now? <coughs> no. <clears throat> but if you see these examples, in all these examples, how many conditions you are written? How many conditions you are written? Only one condition. You written only one condition. Always you have only one condition? No. Maybe sometimes you have what? Multiple, multiple conditions. Okay, now maybe you, you may be having multiple conditions. Now let's see, suppose here, what's it? Uh, now I click this mobiles. Now it is showing only mobile phones. That means you applied one condition or not? Yes. What is the condition you applied? Category equal to mobiles. But here it is showing number of mobile phones. But my budget is only 10,000 to 20,000. 
ओके ना हाँ देन सो इधर देर इज ए कॉल व्हाट्स एप प्राइस प्राइस टेन थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड आई क्लिक दिस व्हेन आई क्लिक दिस यू आर अप्लाइंग सेकंड कंडीशन यू ऑलरेडी अप्लाइड वन कंडीशन व्हाट दैट इज कैटेगरी मोबाइल्स व्हेन यू क्लिक दिस यू आर अप्लाइंग वन सेकंड कंडीशन सो देन यू क्लिक दिस नाउ इट विल शो ओनली द मोबाइल फोन्स प्राइस बिटवीन टेन थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ओके ना यू अप्लाइड सेकंड कंडीशन नाउ हाउ मेनी कंडीशन आर दे टू बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी ऑल दिस ब्रांड्स आई वॉन्ट टू सी रियल मी फोन्स आई वॉन्ट टू सी ओनली द वाट्स एट रियल मी फोन्स सो सेलेक्ट दिस रियल मी वेन यू सेलेक्ट दिस रियल मी देन सो वॉट इट विल शो इट विल शो ओनली द रियल मी फोन्स इट इज नॉट शोइंग अदर फोन्स इट इज शोइंग ओनली द रियल मी Uh, you apply third condition. What is that? Is brand equals to real name. Uh, now total how many conditions you apply? Three. One is category. One is price. One is brand. Okay, na like that. Here also I want to apply what sir? Multiple conditions. I want to apply the multiple conditions. So if you apply the multiple conditions, what is that? Is called that is called what? What is that? Is called Compound condition. That is called what? Compound condition. What is compound condition means? Ah. Oh. So what is compound condition means? Multiple conditions. When multiple conditions are there, compulsory, they should be combined with either and or or. And multiple conditions are there. Compulsory, they should be combined with what? And or or. So multiple conditions combined with and or or operators is called what? Compound condition. Multiple conditions combined with and or operators is called compound condition. Okay, then compound condition like this. So either you have to write write like this. Where what's it? Condition one. Ah, uh, one condition. How to write this condition? How to write this condition? You know, column name, operator, value. Yes. Ah, uh, next one. What is n condition two? How to write this condition? Column name. Operator value. How to write this one? Column name, operator value. Column name, operator value between these two. And you know final output. I don't need to. Already we discussed. Ah, uh, if first condition true, second condition also true. Ah, uh, what is the total where condition becomes? First condition true, second condition also true. Total where condition becomes what? True. Next one. First condition true, second condition false. What the total where condition becomes false. First one is false, second one is true. What the total where condition becomes false. And both are what's that false. Uh, then what is the total where condition becomes false. Okay, then. Uh, so when returns true, when returns true. If both conditions are true, then only returns true. Otherwise, returns what sir? False. Ah, uh, now where? Suppose condition one. Next, we can also use what? Or condition one. We can also use or. Either you can use n or you can use or. Ah, uh, in case of or, what? First one is true. Second one is true. Then true. First one is true, second one is false. Then returns what sir? True. First one is false, second one is true. Returns what sir? True. Both are false. Both are false. Then returns what sir? False. Okay. Then. 
So if at least one condition is true, returns true, otherwise returns false. Uh, year one, year both are true, then only returns true, otherwise returns false. Okay, then. <clears throat> okay, now. Oh. So we'll see that examples in the next class tomorrow. On this examples, we'll see that in the next class. Oh. Oh. Okay. Continue. Use that. Don't install anything. No, oh. But I run out. 2014, you say. I only work out again. Okay, now? Oh. 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 Yes. <clears throat> oh. I'll inform that. Okay, now? Admin is there. <clears throat> oh. 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 Two thousand eight. Oh. Two thousand eight. Only one old, old version. Chala old version. Two thousand fourteen. Two thousand nineteen. Install this. Oh. Nineteen. Start in the sir. Oh. Oh. I only mean admin. Not a guy. Admin. I make cool demo videos. You will get that. Last week. Okay. Demo videos. You will get that. Admin. Okay. Now. If you see that, then you will get that. Okay. Now. See that. Hello, online students. Okay, now online students for notes. For notes and for okay, for notes and for notes, class notes and for other materials and for demo videos, demo videos, please contact admin. Please contact admin Shubham. <coughs> 